you get a uh, new group of guys and you know the older guys kind of move on and do their thing but uh, you know it's nice to just kind of get going. Do you get a sense or did some of these guys look up to you given that you, you know, played for the Flyers a couple of games this year? spent you know a lot of the season with the fans yeah i think so i think uh, i definitely want to be that guy too you know if anyone has questions or you know doesn't really know what's going on you want to be the guy to help out or make it easier on them you know i know if i was you know 17 18 coming into a big city like this and you know i definitely have a few questions and be a little intimidated so um you know whatever i can do to make it easier on them this week i'm you know definitely willing to do that for sure is there anything you're trying to work on specifically this week or, or show this week um, not personally. I think, you know, just about kind of getting going. You know, I'm going to be here all summer working out and, you know, trying to make the team out of camp. So, um, you know, I think just getting your feet going, it's, you know, haven't been on the ice since playoffs. So um, just kind of get comfortable out there and then uh, go from there. Were you following the offseason thing a little bit there to see if, if, if Carl's going to come back and they're going to get sued or are they going to do this? And you know, now it's basically you know, Carl's gone yeah. and uh, they, they, you bring in Shen. So it's, it's not like there's an extra defenseman. Yeah. Is that something you're following at all and hoping – well, Flyer fans are probably hoping they get, you know, four superstar defensemen yeah. coming in. You're like saying, okay, well, let's don't make it too tough to make the team here. I mean, I think uh, growing up, I've always been a huge hockey fan. So, you know, July 1st is always a big day, obviously, the draft. And you obviously pay attention to what the Flyers are doing. But, uh, you know, that's completely out of my control. If they have 10D or they have 2D, you know, it's, it's the exact same for me. Come in and try and make the team, obviously. You know, if they have more guys, it's a little more difficult. But, uh, you know, that's what hockey's about. And, you know, push myself this summer and, you know, see what happens. And you look at this as this year's a raw opportunity to get a lot of NHL time? For sure. I think, uh, you know, coming out of last year, getting in a few games and getting close in the playoffs and just being around the guys, I think, you know, every year's an opportunity. You can't uh, say, hey, I'm only 22, I'm only, you know, 19. I think you look at guys like Coots and Shen and, you know, the young guys that stepped in last year, I think, uh, you know, the league's changing a lot and there's a lot of young players that make the team younger. Can you hear people say that those games you played, that you held your own, you know, for the first NHL the time he had, and it wasn't like they were games at the end of the season when the team's out of play. They were important games, too. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's definitely something you're comfortable with. I think, uh, you know, you want to be able to step in and do that. And I think, uh, you know, with the feedback I got from the coaching staff when I left and uh, from those games, I think that experience goes a long way for me, whether it's, uh, you know, just being here this week with the younger guys or it's, uh, you know, in main camp in September if uh, all was well. What feedback did they give you today? you know, site specific things they'd like to see you, you know, work on for the summer to yeah, never really specific stuff. I think, uh, you know, Cato is so good that helping out, you know, the systems with the Phantoms and Flyers are, you know, uh, flawless when you come up and down. So uh, that makes it really easy. But, you know, just, you know, doing video, little stuff like that and, you know, saying, hey, you're doing this, you're doing that. And, um, you know, I think that goes a long way for your confidence. You know, if uh, they're picking you apart all night, I think, you know, it's a little different. You kind of have to do that. But, you know, when you hear about stuff and you're playing good and comfortable, I think it uh, makes it a lot easier. That first game you came in, I remember you came in, you get in the lineup. Uh, I don't know who was hurt that game that uh, you replaced. If it was Coburn or I don't know who it was. Mes and then we're out. Team in the middle. So, yeah. but is, is, there, is there a moment there where you, you, you're out on the ice and you have to get through a few shifts uh, to realize where you are? You're looking around and there's Claude Giroux near the top of the scoring and that you're with her. Is that you were um, you know, I think warm up definitely. I think going out for warm up, I think that was probably worse than you know my first first shifts. And, um, you know, definitely playing in front of a big rink and everything that comes along with it. Um, but I felt, you know, in September, November with my injury, I think being around the guys, um, it made it really easy. I was comfortable around the staff. I was comfortable with the trainers. And um, and like I said, there were so many young guys that I trained with in the summer and got to know that uh, it made it so easy to come in. And um, you know, I don't know if every team's this easy to come into, but uh, the guys made it. Uh, Really easy on me. When did you get to be 100% last year? Um, it was probably close to you know when I got called up. Um, it took a long time. I think uh, even now, day to day, still you know I have my issues and you know I kind of gotta you know just watch what I'm doing, lower body, and um, you know the guys do a good job with uh, making sure I'm not pushing myself too much and uh, kind of when to back off. So um, at the end of the year, I started to feel really good for sure. Thank you. Man. Thanks, Thanks man. guys.